I said all along, I, th I thought this, this team would challenge all our defensive principles and our ability, you know, to execute on the offensive end. Uh, the first half, you know, we, we, we kind of, I, I think we got the best of them in the first half. We got some shots to fall and we moved the ball and our defense was a lot sharper. The second half, they made some adjustments. They moved the ball a little better and, and they just shot a phenomenal percentage from the perimeter and that's what they do. You know, that's their strength. Uh, they got four or five guys that are capable of of knocking those threes down, and it seemed as though, regardless of <laughs> what we did, we just couldn't get close enough to them to, to contain them. And on the on the offensive end, I thought we had great looks, but we just couldn't seem to get them to fall. But our, our effort was good uh, uh, from a defensive standpoint. We just were not quite good enough to to uh, cause them to miss. And the last six or seven minutes, though, I thought our defense tightened up a little. I thought they maybe became a little more cautious, a little more patient, and we were able to get some deflections and steal, and, and we made some plays down the stretch there and they able to pull uh, a victory out against a very, very good basketball team. Questions, please. <coughs> don't, all, don't all speak at once. Leonard, is the last play, is that designed for Trent all yes. along? Yes, yes. I mean, you know, very seldom, often you have one option, you have first option, second option, third option. But we wanted him to, to, to take a, get a flat ball screen and try to get the ball to the basket and put pressure on the defense. You know, Trent scored 3,000 points in high school, and he's very comfortable once he gets into the lane that probably is Trent. He's a great finisher, and he also is an excellent free throw shooter. So we thought they'd put the ball in his hands. And if he got clogged up, we had PJ and, and, uh, and, and MJ you know, spotted up on different spots of the floor for him and look at Terrence Crass and the boards. So, so, but he got in, in the lane, they, they, they took his right hand away and he's very good at changing direction. Once he got below the free throw line, he has great touch in there and he's able to finish. And that's obviously not the first time he's made a big shot for you down the stretch. Even though I don't think he'd scored in the half until then, what is it about him down the stretch where he can come well, through a, like that? He's an unselfish player and he impacts the game in a lot of ways even if he's not scoring. He moves the ball, he makes good decisions, and he, he defends well. He talks to his teammates. He's communicating on the court. So he's a very valuable access, even if, you know, the traditional statistics, maybe you might not be able to see. But when we go back and, and chart what's important to us, closeouts, contest, a weak side help, contain the, the dribble, contested shots, the things that are important to us, moving the ball, making an extra pass, he grades out very high. Better with this uh, team now 6-1, is, is this team where you thought it would be with your expectations, or is it? I was well, just hopeful that we could continue to keep winning while we develop it. I still don't think we totally <coughs> lost our game offensively or defensively. You know, uh, one of our best players, uh, we're still trying to win on him to get back healthy. And not having a guy like Phil on the court who's a tremendous dribble <coughs> shooter and a guy who allows us to switch one through five, we can play him at the, the three, the four, the five, uh, you know, it challenges us. But it's given some of the other youngsters some opportunity to grow and develop. Uh, Raquan Gray, he's showing promise. Uh, Vassell's. Showing promise. I, 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 even though I, when I look at Anthony Polite, he doesn't have great stats, but I thought his effort and his defense was important. And the residual effect of, of quality of depth like that fatigues people. And you never know exactly how much that means to you down the stretch of the game when those guys are going in and really, really playing with tremendous amount of effort. They might not have great stats, but their contribution is, 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 is valuable to you. Just with their effort running the floor fighting hard, communicating, those things are important to us. Now, as those guys gain more experience, David Nichols, I mean, he was huge tonight. I mean, his defense was good. He, he, he took the charge when he went to the game. He moved the ball. He gave us great leadership, and he's growing up. So we still are in the development mode. I just hope we continue to keep growing, keep winning while we're still growing in development. I, I think we got a long way to go to offensively and defensively. We're still not quite where we need to be. That's twice in the last week. They've been up against the ropes, really, in the final minutes and rallied to, to win. I mean, what does that say about your team that seems like they kind of bring out their best play when they're down and out like that? Well, that's, you, that's philosophically, that sounds good. But in reality, you know, coaches don't want to wait till the game's on the line before you start making plays to win. You know, that's who we are right now. We are not as consistent as we need to be, uh, offensively or defensively. We're growing, we're improving, uh, we're a different team. 
than we were last year. And I, I just hope that we can continue to keep winning, like I said, while we develop it. And we have a lot of areas where we need to improve it. Coach. Uh, the, the, the end there, uh, the, on the tie-up, the kid obviously was anticipating getting fouled. Um, but I guess, what it, this, I think it was Trent to go for the ball, make sure he doesn't foul him, and force a turnover. Well, well you know, we, we have a term we use called Seminole. And whenever you can go at a ball and tie it up, we call that Seminole. That's it. And our guys had the presence of mind while we were, while the guy had the ball and was trying to hold it, to go in and tie the ball up. And, and, and uh, that was a very, very, that was a big play that, during that time of the game, gave us a possession and gave us a chance to win the game. Through seven games, is there anything that surprised you about this team, Coach? Well, I, I, I'm surprised that our defense is not a little better. And as, as much as we worked on our offense, uh, for instance, the first half, uh, I thought we moved the ball very, very well. Uh, I think we had something like maybe 125, 30 passes that we made. We were able to move the ball. The second half, we came back out. I thought the ball stuck a little bit. Not from a selfish standpoint. We just didn't seem to have that same pop, that same um, movement. And against really good basketball teams, <clears throat> What's going to happen is what happened tonight. You know, you got to be consistent with that. And I'm a little disappointed about that. And, you know, right now it's not even. I, I can't start trying to evaluate where we are because I, I realistically, I just know we're still a work in progress. We just got hope. We just thankful that we continue to keep winning. When we're still trying to bring it together, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out my rotation. You know, how who performs in certain situations, and and I'm, I'm going with a feel. Um, you know, I would like to have played uh, Devin Vassell more because he's really finding a way to contribute. But in, in a critical game like that, I kind of went with my most experienced guys. And, you know, you say, well, PJ and MJ are experienced, but well, not really. You know, they, they, <laughs> this is their, you know, they still coming around. Um, you know, this is Raquan Gray. I, I really, he's, he's kind of exceeding my expectations. He's kind of growing up a little bit. But that's kind of who we are. Let's hope that we continue to keep winning while we grow and develop. Coach Raekwon's minutes, is that part of you wanting to find the right guys in the rotation? Is that a hunch? or No, is, is I'm, I'm, going, sure. I'm trying to win a basketball game. You know, and we had guys in foul trouble. You know, and so we've been challenging him, you know, because of his versatility to understand that he has different roles. Uh, and, and I'm glad to see him playing with a little more confidence. I mean, he, he had a couple of uh, plays that I'm sure he'd like to have back. But the fact that he's confident enough to go try to make those plays, that's encouraging. He's shooting the ball well, he's taking the ball, he's dribbling, and he's, give, he's giving us uh, great ball handling and ball reversal. Uh, and he's playing sound, you know, and, and his defense has been solid. So I'm, 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 I'm pleased to see him make this, those progress. But in a close game like this, we can't, you have very little room for error. And uh, hope, I'm, I'm, I'm appreciative that they made a few mistakes and missed some big free throws down the stretch <laughs> that maybe could put the game out, but they missed some free throws that normally they probably would make. Take a last question if we could, please. Um, David Nichols has really struggled to start his FSU career, but he's been coming on slowly, and tonight he had his best game as a Seminole. What are you seeing from him? I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm sorry. David Nichols um, had his best career as a Seminole tonight, um, best game as a Seminole. Um, what are you seeing from him? Well, I, I don't think y'all have seen his best play. I mean, he's just starting to show what he's capable of doing. It's not easy for a guy that, who have played in another system for three years and come in in the position, the point guard position, that, that you need to be able to give leadership, you need to be able to make plays. It's, it's not an easy position for him to be in. But it says an awful lot about him, his confidence, his intelligence, the command, the respect of his teammates, and also going to the game and have the confidence to make big plays when, when the game's on the line. That's it. You know, I, I think that he, he played well tonight, but I, I think that you're going to see him continue to keep growing as we go through the year. Thank you very much.